What are the symptoms of autism? Well, autism or autism spectrum disorder show up in different ways depending on the individual person. No two people with autism are exactly the same. However, there are some common signs to watch out for, especially in young children. In this video, we'll discuss symptoms and signs in children and adults. So if you notice any of these signs, it's a good idea to talk to your child's doctor for advice and possibly a formal evaluation. So early signs in children include social interaction difficulties. One of the earliest signs is trouble with social interactions. So for example, your child might not respond when you call their name, or they might not make eye contact with you. Babies typically start smiling and making joyful expressions around six months old, but a baby with autism might not do this. By nine months, babies usually engage with back and forth interactions like making sounds or facial expressions with others, but this might be absent in a baby with autism. The second thing you might notice are communication delays. By 12 months, most babies start babbling and using gestures like waving or reaching out. If these milestones are missing, it could again be a sign of autism. By 16 months, if your child isn't saying any words, or by 24 months, they're not speaking in simple two-word phrases, these could also be signs. The third thing is loss of skills. So another red flag is if your child seems to lose skills that they once had such as stopping talking or engaging socially. Now, there are also some specific behaviours to watch out for. So the first is repetitive actions. Children with autism might line up their toys in a specific way every time they play or insist on following certain routines to the letter. Even small changes in these routines can cause them to become very upset. You might also notice some unusual interests or sensory sensitivities. Now, let me explain this. Some children with autism have very intense or unusual interests. They might also be extremely sensitive to sounds, textures, or lights, or engage in sensory seeking behaviors like sniffing objects or looking at things out of the corner of their eye. Now, some people ask what causes autism? Well, autism doesn't have a single known cause, and it's likely that a mix of genetic and environmental factors play a role. Researchers are still learning about what exactly leads to autism, but they know that it involves changes in how the brain develops. Some other people ask, is it genetic? Well, yes, genetics can play a part. In some cases, specific genetic changes or syndromes are linked to autism, but these account for only about 10 to 20% of cases. Now, if one child in a family is diagnosed with autism, their siblings are at a higher risk of being on the autism spectrum as well. Other people ask, do vaccines cause autism? The answer is no, vaccines do not cause it. This idea has been thoroughly researched and debunked. Sometimes parents notice signs of autism around the same time that the child receives vaccinations, but this is just a coincidence. Numerous studies have confirmed that there is no link between vaccines and autism. So the really important thing is to make sure that your child stays up to date with their vaccine schedule. Now, there are certain risk factors for autism. So the first is if the birthing parent is 35 years or older. Secondly, if the birthing parent took certain medications like valproic acid or thalidomide during pregnancy, if there has been a premature birth or complications during delivery, having a sibling with autism, as well as certain genetic conditions. But just because one of these things happened or is present does not mean your child will necessarily develop autism. There are also some complications that can come with autism or challenges. These include feeding and sleep issues, digestive problems, so GI issues, epilepsy, ADHD, anxiety and depression, as well as other mental health conditions like OCD or bipolar disorder. Again, just because your child or yourself might have autism doesn't necessarily mean you will develop these problems, but there is a certain link with them. Now, it is important to flag that autism is not just a childhood condition. Many adults live with autism, sometimes without realizing it. Common signs in adults include social challenges. So it might be hard to understand what others are thinking and feeling, or you might feel very anxious in social situations. Making friends can also be difficult, and you might prefer being alone. You might also have literal thinking, so you might take things very literally. So phrases like break a leg, meaning good luck, might be confusing. You might also find a strong need for routine. So having the same routine every day can be very important and changes in this can cause a lot of anxiety. But again, this can overlap with other conditions. 
Now, autism can sometimes look different in women. They might be better at hiding the signs of autism, often by mimicking the behavior of others to fit in. And this can make it harder to recognize autism in women. Women might also show fewer repetitive behaviors and might appear to cope better in social situations even if they're struggling internally. Again, this will be different for everybody, but it is something that has been picked up in research. So what should you do if you suspect autism? Well, you might think that you or your child might be on the autistic spectrum, and it's important to talk to a doctor or a specialist. Now, getting a diagnosis can open up access to support and resources that can make life easier. And please stay tuned for a full separate video on the channel in which I'll cover how to get a formal diagnosis and what this will typically involve.